Hey, Com team. So there's a couple of types of radiation that we'll discuss in this class. Uh, the first type is alpha radiation, uh, which occurs when a nucleus uh, decays by releasing alpha particles. So you've got a diagram of that here. We've got an oxygen nucleus. Uh, and because the nucleus lost uh, this alpha particle, uh, it is now four atomic mass units lighter. Uh, the helium nucleus weighed four atomic mass units, so what's left over is no longer 16 atomic mass units. Uh, it now only weighs 12 atomic mass units. Uh, and the nuclear charge is no longer uh, positive 8 uh, because of 8 protons. It's now only positive 6 uh, because there's only 6 protons remaining. Uh, and you'll notice, too, that the element changes, so it's no longer an oxygen nucleus. It's now a carbon nucleus. Uh, the next type of radiation uh, is beta radiation which occurs when a neutron inside of a nucleus uh, changes into a proton and releases uh, an electron or a beta particle in the process. Uh, and so we can see that here. We have uh, the same oxygen nucleus. Uh, but in this case, uh, one of its neutrons, this neutron right here, changed into a proton. Uh, and in the process of that change, uh, an electron got released. And you'll notice we write the electron as having a mass of zero atomic mass units and a charge of negative one. Uh, and you'll notice that because the neutron switched to a proton, our original nucleus now has a charge of positive nine instead of positive eight. Uh, and it's now fluorine, uh, whose atomic number is nine, instead of uh, oxygen, whose atomic number is eight. And the last type of radiation is gamma radiation which occurs when a nucleus uh, releases uh, gamma rays. And so we can see that happening here. We have the same oxygen nucleus that in this case is releasing a gamma ray. Uh, and you'll notice that since the gamma ray, uh, we're just using the Greek letter for gamma here, uh, since the gamma ray has no mass or no charge to it, uh, our original nucleus retains its same particles. Uh, unless there's a couple of nuclear processes that can also release uh, particles, uh, the first of which is nuclear fission, which occurs when a high-speed neutron collides with a, uh, a heavier element and causes it to break apart. So first, uh, you'll notice that our neutron we are representing is having a mass of one, but no charge because it's neutral. Uh, and then in the aftermath of this neutron breaking apart, this heavy element, you'll notice that our new nuclei that are formed, this lithium nucleus and our boron nucleus, are both lighter than our initial element. Uh, and we also have these two neutrons uh, that are being released in the process. Uh, and the last type of nuclear process is the opposite of fission. This is nuclear fusion, uh, which occurs when two lighter nuclei fuse into a heavier nucleus. So here we've got these two uh, high-speed light nuclei uh, colliding with each other. Uh, and in the process, they form this heavier nucleus, uh, and a couple of neutrons are knocked loose as well. And that's it. At this point, you guys have some practice problems. We'll see you next class.